Hello. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick preview. Um, this is going to be probably a wandering thing because I really didn't plan on it. But <coughs> here we go. So I'm going to load it up here in Unity. Oh. First, got to reset the board so it's actually what it's supposed to look like when you're playing. So everything you're seeing here is mine. Um, I drew the graphics. It says movie because it was going to be something completely different when I started than what it is now. But that's a little more accurate. So you start out with one character. You're, that's the manager. <coughs> no, I don't have the animations even started yet because I'm lazy. I just want to get the game working and then go back and make it pretty. So you can go here to the Hall of Heroes. You can create new people. And this is, again, ugly as snot, but... It's all expandable. So say someone wants to come back later and add, instead of health, intelligence, strength, and speed, they want to have luck and charisma or something, you can do that. This will automatically adjust it. Everything in the game will adjust for that if you decide to give other stats to characters for other reasons. All right, so he's got some health, got some strength, and he's got some speed. So right now, health is how many hit points you have. Strength is how hard you hit. Speed is... <coughs> Gosh darn it. Speed is uh, how fast you hit, and then intelligence will be how um, well non-physical attacks work, like magical attacks, light, dark, stuff like that. You'll get bonus to your non-physical attacks by your intelligence. So you can accept that. I'm going to open it back up again, hire a second person. There we go. Put it in Alibaba. And the same thing, some health, some strength, and some speed. Like so, accept. And it looks like nothing happened, and i got to get confirmation windows and a lot of stuff, but it did work. So... <clears throat> I can now take those guys and take them on a quest. Right now I am actually working on this part where I can take them to this test world where it has um, it's recommended level 10 which means your levels of your soldiers should equal level 10. It'll warn you if you're below that and how many fights there's going to happen per run through this thing with a boss at the end. <coughs> so if I send the people here on average I should be level 10 with all my guys combined. A party of 4 should be about level you know 2 or 3 apiece. Average length will be 10 fights. It could be anywhere from 10 to 15, I think, is what that actually is in the background. But um, we don't know yet. This right here will say later, known monsters. So anything you've come across before will be listed here. And then known items they've dropped, like wool or metal or whatever. The loot that you can possibly get from here will be listed here as you find it. So if I go here to this test world desert where I have gone before, you'll say I do have some monsters done. So I can I know that here there's going to be some red slimes and regular slimes and metal flecks. As you can see, it does have icons in some of the creatures I've drawn for, and some of them I don't. The game, when it pulls from the hard drive, looks for the the icon if it's there. It adds it to the game. If it's not, then it just leaves it blank without crashing, which is great. So I can pick who's going. Right now, again, this world thing doesn't actually work. There's only one demo world I have running in the background. If I can click take, take. So now Four Wheels and Alibaba are going to go on this quest to the demo world, which doesn't actually show up on this list because, again, I have not linked craftable worlds, like worlds you've made into um, the game. So I send them, and again, it looks like nothing happened except these switch to busy, which tells me they are on the quest. And if I go here to the battle, I can see an overview of all the different groups. So if I had more adventurers, it would actually just keep listing the battles here more and more and more. So like, this is the two people I sent to that world. <clears throat> and if I had another two people, I could send them to another world, etc., etc. If I click on detail view right now, it's kind of, like again, crappy, but it's at least showing you what you're doing. So every time the slider bar gets to the end, you make an attack. As this goes down, you'll see this flash by really fast that you won the battle, got stuff, and then disappears. I have to fix that. If I hover over the loot thing right here, it shows that I've picked up 45 metal flex already from this battle, and uh, it will keep going up every time they kill one of these uh, slimes. So right now I have the slime set for ridiculously 90% of the time they drop like 35 pieces of metal, just so I can you know make sure the loot's happening and I get valid data every time I'm going so there we go I'm at like 100 so <clears throat> if they die while they're out they lose all their loot if you recall them or they make it to the end you get to keep it and it'll plop in your inventory so you'll see here and again I'm just missing that images but they're there so then I can go over here to the forge and I can take well, right now it shows no recipes, right? Just a select recipe, nothing here. But if I make a valid recipe, kind of like Minecraft, there. So it takes metal flex to make a dagger. And if I click forge... <coughs> oh, and if you didn't notice that, I got the stacking working. You can split and merge these stacks. But, anyways. 
there. So it made a dagger. Again, I don't have a picture, but there it is. Dagger. Boop. It's a simple dagger, what'd you expect? And so then, after I do that, you can go to... I gotta fix that too. It needs to have a on-menu close, get rid of the tooltip, get stuck. But I can go in here, and so the dagger here is equipable only as a weapon. So if I try to put it as a ring or as a helmet or whatever, it doesn't, doesn't work. But I can equip it as <coughs> a dagger <coughs> to four wheels. And if I switch over to Alibaba, as you can see, it's not there. So it does pull up correctly what, what information they have in their slots. This will eventually have, this will be narrowed down a bit and have like on the side panel what your stats are now. Or it might have it up here in this brick. But it's there, it is working. I've done the, the math, it does hit. So if I go back to here and I take them on an adventure again and send them out, if you watch real close, the uh, Alibaba will now do a ton more damage because the dagger stats again. I put them way through the roof so I can see them um, actually hitting. I'm going to have it so that the further out you are, like if you're on battle 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 along the list, it takes them a longer time to walk back. And basically if you finish the whole quest and fight the boss, they're instantly back. So it'll save you time <coughs> that way. So that's all I have done for the game so far. As you can see, the loop's there. You can walk around town, do things, buy adventurers, send them out on a quest, get loot, equip, you know, refine the loot into new stuff, and come back. And this is what I mean by the game is infinitely expandable. So this will be hidden during most play, but you can just go in here and create a new creature. You can create a new uh, weapon, like, you know, cool sword. Or coal sword, sure. And uh, you fill this out, and then you can make a recipe that says metal flex. You need ten of those. It takes ten seconds, and at the forge it'll make... I don't know, the wool coat. I think it's the one I'm practicing on. So, like, if I had wool, ten wool, I could make a wool coat. And I hit create, and then from then on out, that recipe now exists in the game. So if I go back to there and I put wool into the uh, recipe crafter, it'll give me the option, if I have ten of them, to make a wool coat. Same thing with loot. So with the monsters drop, you can create new things like, you know, four wheels is new drop. Like that, then I can add that to the creature. Once it exists in the game, you can add that as a, a drop the creatures do. Then you can make a recipe that includes that, new weapon, etc. etc. And the last one I just got working today was to create world. And this is to create new worlds in the game. So that you can send them on, you know, your own your own unique places and you'll be able to select what enemies, what what the percent chance are of them attacking you, add them. Same thing with the bosses. You can select what bosses are available at the end, that'll pick one of every time you get to the last fight, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what it looks like so far. And uh, it's about 6,000 lines of code. Library doesn't do anything, so I put a little barrier. It will be, once it's done, is where you can take your loot and sell it. But as you can see, the, the menu's scuffed. They haven't worked on it yet. and just got the idea up and ready. And that's about it. I'm going to stop the recording and uh, let you see it as soon as YouTube can upload it quickly.